It's also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We're going to start out the show just a little bit different than we usually do. I've got three quotes by Johann Wolfgang von Gutt. But as they say in Terre Haute, Indiana, it's Johann Wolfgang von Gotha. So he's going to be von Gotha today because that's all I understand. Knowing is not enough. We must apply. Willing is not enough. We must do. That's number one. And number two on the list, drum roll please. Thinking is easy. Acting is difficult. And to put one's thoughts into action is the most difficult thing in the world. Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. Von Goethe, as they say in France. And finally it says, the moment one definitely commits oneself, then providence moves too. Whatever you think you can do or believe you can do, begin it. Action has magic, power, and grace. Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. And the most important one of all, from our good friend, Mark Douglas. I get a little choked up when I read this one, folks. When you really believe that trading is simply a probability game, Concepts like right or wrong, win or lose, no longer have the same significance. Okay? We got to remember that. Over the past oh, month or so, we've had people come in talking about the importance of the market topping. Let me just show you what we had, folks. On, G on September the 12th, we had Shane Smolian calling for a top. We had Jeff Huge, Alpha Insox, calling for a top. Stan Hardy, Harley, a stock market letter, September 12th. Larry Williams, September 12th, and also seeing the importance of the 22nd and also the 27th. And then we also had Peter Elides, and again we had also Tim Boss talking about the beautiful Mercury perihelion thing that we had. And there was one other one, I swear to God, I can't remember who, there was one other guy that said something about the 12th. I can't remember it right now, but I, I will. Oh, someone in the room has just said Norm Winsky. Yes, I think Winsky was in that list. Well, we're going to move Norman to the top of the list today because he's going to be our guest. He did a great job. I was just sort of pulling the old wool under his eyes, as they might say. Okay, folks, I have to tell you a little joke, all right? There are two rabbis are in the synagogue, and they're complaining. And one and Maury is complaining to Saul. He said, Saul, he said, I don't understand. He said, I pick the winners all the time. He said, I seem to get every single winner over and over again in the lottery, but I never win. And Saul says, Maury, Maury, you've got to buy a ticket. And boys and girls, you've got to buy a ticket when you want to play in the dance. And that's what you have to do when you're doing this. A few days ago, just a few days ago, way back on the 18th, and here we are on the 23rd, I posted something in here in the room that I said, let's follow this and see if there's any validity to this uh, baloney that I've been feeding you along with the uh, tapioca and all the stuff over these years of the 3A2. And there's the short-term trades in the 3A2 in the Dow E-mini. My goodness, really a big surprise, right? Well, folks, you'll never guess what happened today. You'll never guess what happened today. And if you want to defy human nature, go do the work yourself. But here's what happened today. And yesterday was the same thing. I didn't save yesterday's, of course, because it was a little different day. Still, still 382. Again, the saying there was a high, the opening range. There was a little ma um, rally that we had right here before we went down and completed the ABCD pattern down there at 29.5 and change. Okay, so those are just a few of them. Now, if you like 382, and we're going to go through a few of, the, few of these because we're very, very important. If you remember, we were talking about our good friend, Mr. Natural Gas. I'm going to get to the most important one here in just a set. Well, they're all important, but I want to show you that these do work. Okay, there was the natural gas 
looking for lower, lower prices with that 382 retracement. So if you were trading natural gas today, and some of us were, you'll go in and take a look at where we were today. I'm going to show you the first one, and we'll get it up here. One second. And here we go. By the way, I'm doing my very best to get one of our old guests back on the old uh, tube here. So hopefully, I'll be able to get him on pretty soon uh, to talk to us about things. So that's the first natural gas one. And the second natural gas one was right here. And we'll get it up. And you'll see that these things actually work, folks. You know, And there's the second one in the natural gas. OK, now nat the, the 3A2 patterns work the best in strong trending markets okay now let's pick a market today that is very strongly trending hmm where could that be someone that had a major funeral this past well, oh it was over in great britain so let's look at great britain today folks here is the british pound on a monthly basis all right we're just going to look at it on a monthly and, and folks we've been pushing this in the newspaper for a long time looking for 85 in the british pound there is your first 382 retracement right up here. There's your second one. There's your 135 pattern. You see the symmetry that's there? Can't make it up. It's there. But today, could that have helped you at all if you'd have known anything at all about the one or the 382 pattern in the British pound? I don't know. Let's just take a quick look, okay? And here it comes, folks. This is just a 15 minute chart over the last two days. That's not so hard to figure, is it? Get it up and take a look at it. Bada bing, bada boom. And there it is. And the reason why I bring this up, folks, we, we just hit a 108 handle, too, in the British pound, folks. When I did the thing with uh, Tom O'Brien, Tom O'Brien, with Tom Hugard back on the 20, uh, on the 1st of April, it was 125. And now it's at 108, and we are heading towards uh, 105. Uh, excuse me, 85 is what we're looking at here. I've got a whole bunch of other, these 382s that I ought to share with you because I think they're very important. Last night, if you believe in 382 and you were trading the S&P, I don't know. You might want to take a look at what we look at when we're watching the little 382 because there's a little tiny four-minute chart, but you can see the first ABCD pattern right here at the 382. You can see the second 382 pattern right here. Here was the opening 382 right here, and then, of course, we've come down. Now, I've got to share with you. Our guest next week is going to be a Shane Smullyan on Monday. He shared with us something very important, folks. These are the, uh, what do they call these darn things, fail-safe systems uh, where they lock down trading, okay? That means you're looking at the, if the S&P hits these down 7% on a day or down 15%, trading will halt. So remember these. I'm going to be keeping these on on. Tact, uh, let us know where we stand because uh, we're very we're breaking down badly, folks. And we know that we have well, we have gone through our first daily S and P trade uh, daily thing, which was at 37.45. We went 50 handles below that already, folks. The only thing below that is 31.75. Hello, operator. Come on, look at the charts. I mean, well, shut up, Larry. Get a life. 877-927-6648. of booming inflation where your purchasing power is eroded there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold vista gold's flagship asset is the mount todd gold project in the northern territory of australia this is australia's largest undeveloped gold project we are talking a world-class gold project in a tier one mining district this is a large-scale low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. now toll free at 1-877-927-6648 internationally at 727-873-7618 okay i've just been informed by tfnn that these charts are not coming through i don't know why if you'd like to have them i'll make a file and uh, you can send it to larry at tradingtutor.com and I'll fire out the charts that I put on the show today. And, uh, you know, I, that's, I don't understand. It's my fault because I don't understand the technical part of this. Uh, but that's neither, neither here nor there. Okay, uh, look, folks, uh, we're, we're at a different dance this time. We've been talking about this for quite a while. I posted the chart of the Russell. Uh, that's the only one I had done today. Shows the we're at the second standard deviation. We're ready to break that. We've already saw what happened when we broke the first standard deviation. We're now getting ready to break the second one. If we close badly today, God help us that we might rally three or 400 points, then we're going to break the third one. And, folks, that's when the option boys have trouble. In 1987, on Sunday, October the 16th, James Baker was in Japan, and he came out of a meeting saying, regrettably, and when those words regrettably came out of his mouth, the whole world went down the the porcelain uh, tube, as you well know. Uh, that was the words that triggered the whole thing. I mean, gold rallied $25, limit up, bonds collapsed, the stock markets all over the world collapsed, and we led to the crash, which was the greatest buying opportunity of the 1980s. On October the 7th, October 19th, the Dow was down 15, excuse me, 16%. 16% on today's thing is $4,500. And we are in a situation right now that is many times worse than what Jim Baker did. The reason why is we have the 30-year bond, folks, is yielding 3.7%, and the two-year note is at 42 That has never happened in the history of the United States of America. This is telling us, no, sir, no, sir, we don't have an R working for us. We've got a D working for us. It's not the R word you got to worry about, folks. It's the D word. Three years ago, there were 900,000 puts and calls buyers in the S&P 500 options, okay? Now there are 2.4 million. Hello, operator. 900,000 to 2.4 million. This is what we call E-X-P-O-E-S-E, -E, like D-I-V-O-R-S-E, exposure. Folks, this is really bad. I don't want to scare the poopy out of you, but we've already warned you. But no matter what happens, it's going to come for the heck of a bottom. 
and we're going to be able to see it uh, right now. The uh, I was just informed today that we were just seeing a 382 retracement in the S&P right now as this was happening, so I'm not watching, but that's a good thing. Let's hope that it uh, that it works out and we close that we close okay today. But the first price level is 3170. That's what we're looking at. That's only folks stop and think just a few days ago. Just a few days ago, folks, we were at 4280. We've dropped 600 handles in just a couple of days. This is not good. So remind ourselves that. The last time we had a break was 1500 in the Dow Jones. We didn't bounce much. We couldn't even make a 382, but we did go down 1500 points. We rallied three or 400 points, okay? So you multiply 15 times 1.618. And that gets you 2,500. That's what I'm expecting the Dow to be down Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday, around 15, uh, 20, yeah, at least uh, 2,500 points in one day. Whether that'll be the bottom or not, I'm not sure. All I know is this is a long term bearish market. I've tried over the last months and weeks and years to talk to you about different things that work little ABCD patterns, 382 patterns. They do work, but unfortunately, boys and girls, they don't work all the time. That's why you got to buy a ticket. And you got to learn to do it yourself. But when you figure out the magic of probability that you don't know what's need to know what's going to happen next in order to make money, you're going to be just fine. But you don't know what's going to happen next because nobody knows that. So even forget about thinking about doing it. All I'm doing with these patterns is giving you rough ideas of what uh, what we're looking at here. Now, any time. I don't think the Fed can do anything anymore because the cat's pretty much out of the bag there. That they've lost all their tools, or they're instigating this whole thing on the down, on the down move. And you know, any anything's possible, of course. I'm just a technician. I look at these things and I say, hmm, that's what it looks like. It's going to happen. So we'll say this week's newsletter. And believe me, folks, you want to let's just talk about the newsletter for just a second here. This week's newsletter. This are the positions that we talked about. For people that we've been talking about, what the trend has been for a very, very long time. I'm not going to post them all because, you know, you've seen them. There's what our profit objective is right down here. You can see here, this is at 31 and change, all right? We're, we're down in here now, folks. You see how close that distance is right here? And look how fast we're coming down. I don't know if that's going to stop it or not because we get below here. We're going to take this one out. And you think that's not possible? We're in a situation where it's certainly, look what's happening to foreign currency, folks. Look what's happening to interest rates. Something is not right when banks are struggling to buy the treasury bills based on U.S. dollars. Okay, there's a problem. Look at the British pound. It had a 108 handle. Okay, the euro, we've been talking about that as being very bearish, heading down towards a 95 or 96. Heck, we're not far from 95 right now. Uh, all of them, every single one. The British pound we talked about, the Canadian dollar, the Australian dollar, Canadian dollar. Crude oil, we said crude oil was going to break. If we broke 8,100, we'd be heading to 73, and there's where we are. Gold, my goodness, we've been waiting on gold for such a long time to get down here, and we're not there. We're not too far away now in the gold market. So, you know, this is uh, really a heck of a deal. We broke 1660 today, folks. We got down to, last time I saw it was 1650. 1650 or something like that. That means the target on the gold now is 1540. Just a few days ago, we were at uh, what 1780, and before that, 1860. That's $200, and we haven't really got much time in that. So this is not a time to be faint of heart. So I want to end the show tell, showing you just a couple of other things about the old 382 pattern because this is where you play the dance, folks. Buy your lottery ticket. Learn how to do this, and you're going to be a happy camper. There's the euro, 382, bada bing, bada boom. Look at that, $2,000. The risk was about 200 bucks. Okay, let's take a look at old Goldie today. Oh, Goldie, no action there, right? All right, let's take a look at Goldie from the low to the high. Anybody that want to guess what it is? Little Johnny in the back of the room is raising his hand. He says, oh, my goodness, 382, look at this. And what does it do? It drops $2,000, well, 1800 so these are some of the ones. There's others in here. I saved them all, and uh, we'll see what uh, see what's going to happen with them. I have already done the YM, and I've done. Uh, I think I did them all. Yeah, I pretty much are the ones I was looking at. So those are the things that I'm paying attention to today. We've got Norm Winsky coming up on Monday. Uh, I, I I can't believe I either I'm either going to have Tim Bost, Peter Elides, Shane Smolian, 
We're also going to have uh, Stan Harley next week, and we got to have uh, Tim Boss back on also. But our guest today is none other than the wizard from Naples, Florida, Astro Trends. Mr. Norm Winsky will be with us when the break comes up, and we are going to hear the sound of one hand clapping, folks, because Norm has been spot on as far as telling us where these markets he thought they were going to go, but now we have to put his pedal to the metal and make him tell us what happens next. We'll be right back with Mr. Norman Winsky from Naples, Florida. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Norm Winsky from Astro Trends on the line now. Norman, how are you? Thanks for having me on your show. Can you hear me okay? I can hear you okay. I think it was only fair that we have you on the show because on September the 12th, you said the market should start down. And since you, there was a second great call you had since the one in May of uh, 2015, which was the top of the year. So you're, you've had two winning trades in the last, uh, what, nine years. So I think you're doing a good job. So keep up the good work. Norman, I'm pulling your leg just a little bit. So don't panic. You did a fabulous job. And uh, I, I really, we, everybody here at TFNN appreciates you, Norm. So why don't you tell us what we're looking at now, okay, buddy? All right. Well, I was last on your show on sep Tuesday, September 6th. That was the day immediately following the three-day Labor Day weekend. Monday was a holiday. And so mm -hmm. I came on and forecasted what, was, what had just happened over the Labor Day weekend and what was coming up. 
Mm -hmm. uh, by the way, let me just give you a little background information. All these points apply to the stock market. The stock market is the big basket of everything. So I don't always say stocks when I indicate a market. I just assume the stocks are there. Uh, but the commodities, uh, other markets, are narrow filters, so they only respond to certain planets and certain signs. Okay, so then I sp spell those out. Also, what we're looking for in a setup is we want to see a market that's at some kind of extreme is the ideal. The bigger the extreme, the better. But we want the market to go up or go down into our magic time window. And if it uh, goes sideways, we don't do anything. We're looking for reversals. These things tend to reverse at these astrological points to about 70, 75% of the time. That's pretty good. All right, I'm going to go over what I said last time. So I told you that over the Labor Day weekend, oh, by the way, one more thing. Uh, once you learn this uh, terminology, and I'll be happy to help you with that. If you want to give me a call, I'll give you a free class. And once you learn this, there's nothing that I'm doing here that's over a fifth grade level. So if you made it through grade school, you're good to go with me, okay? So here we go. Venus, perihelion, that's a word from the Greek. Para means close. Helion is the sun. Venus in its 225-day cycle uh, was at its closest point to the sun uh, over the Labor Day weekend. And I was forecasting over the Labor Day, which usually, when we have a change in trend like that overnight or over a weekend, it usually spills over into the first, the next trading day morning is the ideal window, is the sort of statistical historical pattern. Doesn't always conform to that. There's no always in the stock market, as you know, Larry. But that's the uh, typical pattern. And so we'd be looking for that would spill over into Tuesday into uh, the 6th. And so there we go. So uh, we was, if Venus was indicating, remember, as always, stocks, cattle, copper, corn, cotton, gold, sugar, wheat. So we have those markets indicated for that. And then the next big thing, we had a big cluster over the ninth weekend. And that indicated we'd be looking for something Monday the 12th for a big change in trend for the following markets. We had Mercury turning retrograde uh, in the sign of Libra. And that was for a great Mercury is grains, corn, soybeans, wheat, and because it's in Libra, also sugar. And then a full moon in Pisces. So we'll be looking at any time we have a full moon, new, new moon, we round up the usual suspects, which are financial grains, precious metals. And because it was in Pisces, we'll be looking at oil, too. And then we had Jupiter to the U.S. natal chart. U natal chart is a snapshot of where the planets were. Uh, when something began, and in this case, since it's a good old USA, that would be where the planets were on the 4th of July in 1776. So now let's look at the charts here and see how it all happened. So the corn was kind of going sideways for our first point there, so we did nothing. Then it dipped, and then it had a big rally into the 12th, into the uh, weekend of the 9th, into the 12th. But uh, if you sold on the opening there, that was too much risk. That was too much rally there. You, we actually had the high day. That was kind of a heartbreaker. If you sold there, I had to mark that wrong uh, uh, as a miss because look how much it rallied before you actually topped out. So, uh, you know, you could, if you're willing to take the heat, then it's a winner, you know. But I like to, to be kind of hard on myself and assume the worst case. Uh, beans did the same thing. So we had, there was two points for that. And so we're off to a bad start here with four misses. And we got the wheat, though. The wheat I had a miss over here on the, in the beginning. But then we had three points for wheat for that ninth weekend for the morning of the 12th. So you have a small winner there for the wheat. And now we're getting a little better with Venus perihelion. Venus is cattle. And that's a nice trade there with a top on the cattle. And same deal on the cotton there. And notice how after that, the cotton went down, down, down. And then here's your sugar. Just missed that low there. You're buying near the low there, and it popped up for a couple of days for a winner. And then uh, over here, if you sold there, uh, you had a chance to make some money over and a couple of days later. And then copper, that was the low of the month. That was Venus perihelion gave you the low of the month for the copper. And, you know, that's a big ticket item, Larry. So I don't even know how much money. That's a, probably a lot of money there, probably thousands of dollars there. And here's the silver that was kind of like the grains there, and you were selling at the bottom of the day, 
and then you never had really a chance to recover for four or five days. So that was a miss. Gold behaved much better. You had a short-term top there. You had a chance to make some money. Here we had a chance to make some big money there with the gold and so forth. The oil just kept going, so that's a miss. Here's the S&P was maybe one of my best markets the last couple of weeks. We had the low. I was on, I remember being on your show on the uh, right, right around this time on the 6th and saying that we were looking for a low there, and we made that low. And then we had the big rally into the ninth weekend and into the 12th, and then we went off the cliff, you know, and then down, down, down. So we had those four winners there based on those four points. And then B, uh, bonds were going sideways, so we do nothing. The yellow is sideways, nothing. And then the dollar, currencies dance to the moon, Larry. So the dollar was down, down, down into the, into the moon, and then it bottomed on the, uh, within a day, and then up, up, up. And this is important to keep in mind because we're coming up to, over this weekend, we have a new moon. So you might want to pay attention to that. Here's your Aussie dollar. Did the same. It went, rallied up into the moon and then re reversed the day the next day. And here's the British pound. They all did pretty much the same thing. There's the Canadian dollar. It, it actually was a little better timing-wise than the top on the 12th. And here's the euro topping on the 12th. And here's the yen, made a little top there uh, the next day. And there you go. Here's the Swiss franc topping the next day and so forth. So if you add up the greens and the reds, you got 22 winners, six misses out of 28 for 78.57%. Notice how simple this is. No moving averages, no oscillators, no nothing. Uh, you can apply your Fibonacci, 382, 618 if you want. But the time is more important than the price. That's what Mr. Gann said. So you have to have the right time, and then you can fine-tune it with Fibonacci to get the exact right price. Here's something I seldom show when I do these, because this is, goes out to the subscribers of my letter. I do a Bradley style, not Bradley. I totally re revamp Bradley. But I do a Bradley style forecast before I send out my letter every month. And I drew this blue line back in, what was that, late, uh, I guess, late, uh, oh, late August. And here we go. And then I overlay every night. I overlay the black bars in an email update on top to see how we're doing. And here's what the forecast was. And it sounds like we got a commercial. We have to pay a few bills. It. We got two questions when we come back. Okay, Norm? Okay. Yes, sir. Norm Winsky, folks, Astro Trends. We'll be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, we're speaking with Norm Winsky of Astro Trends. Norm, we have a question about the Bradley model, and what is the next uh, uh, Bradley date that you're really interested in? Well, it's not really a Bradley date because I, I loved his concept, but I thought he was crazy the way he uh, – his components and the way – he's very inconsistent. So I don't want to call it a Bradley date. I call it a plant. Let's call it a Lewinsky uh, date. Whatever you want to call it. We got the next point. Notice, okay, that, I was going to talk about this. You see these red arrows on here? They indicate the most significant points. Look at that back here. We had a new moon with a Mercury point, and we had a top there. Here we go. This is the point I talked about last on, on your last show, where the, we're going to have a full moon with Mercury turning retrograde with the red arrow there. Look what happened. See, that was the last big top, and we, we've we been melting down pretty much ever since. And guess what? The next red arrow is when? See the date? This weekend. Rosh Hashanah. That's why I asked to come on your show now, Larry. It's okay. not Rosh Hashanah. So you won't Start have to wait long. Start of the High Holy Days, yes. What's that? Start of the High Holy Days, Rosh Hashanah. There you go, exactly. Shana Tova, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's January 1st. No, not in the Hebrew. It's not January 1st. <laughs> that means Happy New Year, uh, folks. Yeah, exactly. Okay, go ahead, Norm. Tell, keep Even going, me buddy. from little old Frankfurt, Indiana knows that. You, know, right? there you, you go. got it, brother. All right, there we go. And then they got another red arrow here at the end of the month with uh, Mercury Direct. Oh, well, I'll be getting to that. I don't want to get ahead of myself here. All right, well, anyway, that, there you go. You can see this is working out pretty well. I don't know what you think, Larry, but I think it's pretty good correlation there, right? Mm -hmm. So and I, I did this chart, you know, before I sent out the uh, September letter. That went out on, uh, I think, Sunday, August the 28th, you know, on the night of the 28th. So uh, this was all done in advance. So if, if you folks are interested in knowing what, well, giving a, getting a clue what the market may be doing in advance, give me a call, right? So here's what's coming up now this weekend. As we just said, AC is after the close. So that's the 23rd. That's today. After the close, so over the weekend, we're going to have the new moon. That'll be on Sunday. As Larry indicated, that coincides, you know, the Hebrew calendar is on a lunar calendar. So then all, their, all the holidays, Jewish holidays, coincide to new moons, full moons, that kind of thing. And so we have the new moon there in the sign of Libra this weekend. And anytime we have a new moon, full moon, we round up the usual suspects, which are financials, grains, precious metals. And because it's in Libra, sugar, and wheat, well, wheat will follow, gets a double hit here because of the moon and Libra. Then we have moon to the U.S. So that's a U.S. thing. So U.S. stocks, T-bonds, U.S. dollar. Same thing here again. Coming up on the night of the 20th, that was the time of the 26th. Night of the 29th, all these things will spill over into the next morning. and we, But we have to wait till we get there to decide whether it's going to be a high or low. We don't, I don't try to predict uh, the direction way in advance. That just will get you painted into a corner, nailed down to a scenario, which will probably lose your money. You know, So the human brain, I believe, is wired to lose money. So you don't want to be thinking, as you and I have often laughed about, Larry, and it's true, the less you think, the better you do. Right, Larry? Trade what you see, not what you think. Yep, so there we go. So here again, you got the, the night of the 28th, U.S. <laughs> chart, U.S. stocks, T-bonds, U.S. dollar. Then at the, end of the month, at the end of the month, we have Mercury in Virgo, Mercury retrograded back into Virgo, and it's going to turn direct, go forward, and that's your grains. 
And then here, this is a double whammy, Larry. I know you like the greens. This is a double whammy here for the, the greens. You got Mercury turning retrograde and Mercury at zero north latitude. That's very rare for those two things to uh, coincide like that. And you know what happens when I say that's a rare event, Larry? Usually something big happens, right? So You've been pretty go. good so far, my friend. Pretty good so far. Just like the restaurant business, you're as good as your last meal. There you go. So corn, soybeans, wheat. And then I even give you a sneak peek into October there. I think that's Monday night, the 3rd, Saturn to the U.S. chart. So uh, for those that haven't seen me before, I've been doing this a long time. Not as long as Larry, but uh, somewhere in the ballpark there. And I started uh, right out of college in 1975. I was actually investing while I was in college in the early 70s. Made enough money to buy a membership on the then fledgling Chicago Board Options Exchange at age 24. I landed there after I finished school in May of 75. And at age 24, I was a member market maker there trading on the floor. And I also traded a little bit later on the Board of Trade. And I did all that for over a 12 year period. And then and when we got to 87, we had the big harmonic convergence. My Harmonic converges. The planets lined up, and the stock market, market, stock market looked bubbly to me. And I decided I had accumulated three memberships by then, and I decided to sell them all. And I was getting to be an old man there in my 30s. I decided it was time to go, and so I avoided the crash of '87. I traded, I traded that from upstairs in an office. You know, I was no longer mm -hmm. a member. I just sold less of my memberships. I think October 1 of '87. Okay, so here's how you get a hold of me. I can help you out, give you free class, get you advanced uh, 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 trading analysis with uh, all kinds of things I've studied, you know, Fibonacci, advanced Fibonacci, astrology, GAN, uh, fractals, whatever you probably, whatever you can name, I can, I probably looked at it. So here's how to get a hold of me. I'm here in beautiful Naples, Florida, 239-594-3939. And Winsky, that's N W I N S K I at E M B A R Q M A I L dot com. Or you can call me on Skype for free at N Winsky, N W I N S K I underscore digit one. Are there any questions from the Dan there, Larry? Uh, I, I think we're okay. Uh, you did a great job so far. So hopefully, what you're looking at was. Uh you know, might come, might uh, work again, but you were pretty good the last time, so just keep up the good work and stay on the green side of the grass. Yes, sir, Larry. Uh, the way this works is with the new moon over the weekend, the ideal is if the stock market, for example, is what we're probably most people looking at today, with the big down, We ideally, we since it's down a lot, we'd like to see it close on or near the lows and then have some spillover into Monday morning and you know, make uh, I'll probably make it that this is not a forecast. This is the ideal model, and mm -hmm. then maybe go down for the first half hour to hour, and that's where the ideal time would be for the market to reverse following a new moon. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's the kind of thing we would be looking for. You know, it doesn't always follow that, but that's sort of the whoa, ideal whoa, whoa. model. You mean it doesn't work all the time? No, I'm sorry to disappoint yeah, you. Yeah, that's what makes it work. It's because it doesn't work all the time. <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, listen, Norm, happy holidays to you, my friend, and we will have you on again soon. Let us know when you'd like to come on, and we'll have you on as a guest again. You did a great job. All right, it's probably before the next uh, full moon, right? That sounds good. Do you, you hear that noise out there, Norm? That's everybody clapping. Sound of one hand clapping, brother, just like they do for me. I love you, pal. Take it easy. Stay on the green side of the grass, okay? Okay. Thanks a lot. Everybody have a great weekend. Okay. Thank you, Norm. Appreciate it Looking very much, for, folks. Looking forward to helping some of your folks. Okay. Norm Winsky, folks. Astro Trends out of Naples, Florida, from Indiana, Frankfurt, Indiana, to be exact. I'm going to give you a little, we're going to buy a lottery ticket here, boys and girls. Let's just take a little lottery ticket. I know the chances of it is going to happen is very slim, but we're going to be right back. This 
Mesa Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we're back, and we're going to buy a lottery ticket. I posted the chart of the 15-minute. Dow Jones, here's where we had the Federal Reserve in here. We had that big 1,200-point swing. We had to move down. You see the first little ABCD, 382, 382, 382, 382, 382. We had four of them. So the lottery ticket is this, folks. There's the 382 off of the high of the uh, market we made back here on Fed Day, okay? I don't care if it happens today or maybe even Sunday night, early Monday morning. If we get that, that's your lottery ticket. Going to have to pay $500 for that lottery ticket, risking 100 points. But if it's right, you're looking at an ABCD that is going to be well over, see, we're down, uh, well over 2,000 points. So you're willing to risk $500 to make 10 large. This is a pretty good uh, bet, folks. That's like Secretariat running against. Uh, uh, maiden claimers, because this thing has got a chance. If it works, it's going to make a lot of money. Anyway, that's what I'd be looking at. The chances of it working are about like a lottery ticket, one in a million. But if it does, and if it does, that would be very good. And not only that, it would be the first 382 retracement we had, because this one here wasn't even close to a 382 retracement. So that's what we're watching here. So... Okay, folks, I've given you a few things that you could probably think about over the weekend and stuff like that. So I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Try to do something nice for your neighbors and stuff because 
you know, a lot of these folks are having a heck of a time out there, and uh, it's really uh, it's really tough for some people. And we got to remember that that's the that's the way that's going. So do what you can for your fellow man, and you'll be much better off for it. If it's not what you think. It's not what you trade. It's or not. It's not what you think. <laughs> it's not what you see. Whoa! It's not what you see. It's what. It's not what you think. It's what you see. I have been up too many nights in a row, boys and girls. So it's not what you see. It's not what you think. <laughs> it's what you see. I surrender. I love you all. We'll see you Monday, God willing. Amen. Amen.